A deadly police standoff last month in Encinitas may help spark change in the way that San Diego County handles people with mental illness by implementing a controversial law. Tennis reporter Dan Haggerty joins us with why a local mother says it would have saved her son. Dan. Steve, Evan Quick suffered from mental illness, but his family could not get him to get treatment. Instead, he stole his sister's car, shot two deputies, and then turned the gun on himself. Now, his mother wants the county to implement that law that would, forced, would have forced Evan into treatment, and today the county agreed to look into it. Evan Quick was 22 years old when he shot two deputies, then himself, in Encinitas. He was addicted to heroin and suffered from mental illness for much of his life. In the week prior to the standoff, his mother, Michelle, filed a restraining order in hopes to get him the psychiatric treatment he had refused since turning 18. In it, she wrote, he is better off in jail than in a grave. Please, please help me help him. Constantly think all the time. Could I have done this? Could I have done that? 10 News talked to Michelle Quick on the phone. She's out of state and happy the Board of Supervisors here voted Tuesday to study Laura's law, one she says could have saved her son and protected the deputies he shot. Thank God that Evan did not kill the deputies. Laura's law will protect the police also. It won't Laura's law is named after this 19-year-old college student who was shot to death by a man with a history of mental illness. The law gives courts the strength to force treatment on people with well-documented cases of severe mental illness. Opponents call the law costly and say it infringes on people's rights, while Michelle Quick says it may have given her her son back. It's not the full answer. There's a lot of answers I would love to help bring about, but it's just one small step in the right direction. The Board of Supervisors voted unanimously to move forward with a 90-day cost analysis study of Laura's Law. We'll see where they stand sometime this summer. Dan Haggerty, 10 News.